everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and tonight I have been busy taking advantage of this beautiful weather and the longer day length, getting some necessary weeding done in my garden. But it crossed my mind that if you have an area that has a lot of weed pressure, that's the sign that you're doing something wrong. And as you can see, all of these undesirable plants came from the area behind me, which means I didn't do my due diligence in getting that ground plane covered with desirable plants. So now that we're in the last part of March, it's an ideal time to go ahead and do some additional direct seeding. And in today's episode, I'm actually going to be doing an experiment with poppies because I found one random seed packet left over from last season of the Pep Haver Reese. And though I don't generally recommend late March sowing here in Zone 7 Central North Carolina, I figured I might as well give it a try because I get a ton of questions about why I recommend seeding poppies when it's cooler out. So I figured this is an opportunity for all of us to learn. In addition to the poppies in this bed behind me, I'm also going to be sowing some buckwheat and some crimson clover. These are really my two favorite cover crops. Not only do they fix nitrogen, the crimson clover, the buckwheat attracts all kinds of pollinators, as they decompose, when the temperatures get really hot, they add all that organic matter right back into the soil, naturally feeding the next round of plants that I'll grow here. So let me show you up close and personal the areas that I'm going to do some direct seeding in tonight. So as you can see, it's a lot of vetch, but also some native geranium, which is quite seedy and lamium and chickweed and clover. And you can see there is a fair amount of poppies and larkspur planted throughout here, but definitely not enough to cover the ground plane. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do a heavy seeding in here. Now I wanted to show you what this essentially looked like before I started weeding because I've got one more really bad patch here. And I've gotta get this all pulled out now but you see how the vetch and the lamium just basically take over. And that just means that you don't have the ground plane engaged with beneficial plants. So I'm going to take my own advice, get this stuff pulled out, and then direct seed these cover crops so that they will look beautiful and prevent more weeds from getting established. All right, first things first, I have put the crimson clover and buckwheat together in a bowl, and I'm going to go ahead and Scatter these out right now, mix together. I know they're gonna make a great cover crop and they flower really quickly. And I'm gonna do some on the other side as well, where I really have a heavy batch of vetch. Ugh, it's truly the bane of my existence. It's really hard to control. Okay, now, drum roll, I am going to put out some poppy seeds. And remember, the poppies don't really wanna be messed with, so once you put them out, that's it. And I'm gonna do a handful here, about like that. And I'm gonna do about the same amount on the other side. And now I want to walk next door and put the rest of them in the center of one of the native shrub borders at the Carolina Garden House. Just for accountability, I'm going to go ahead and do a handful here as well. I'm wondering if some of these beds that get a little more shade might do better. And remember, this is the Pephaver Reese, not the bread seed poppy, but the World War II commemorative poppy. And I figure I might as well sow some here as well, where I've got the calendula and again, some open space. You know, if they don't grow, it really is nothing lost. And I'm gonna get the rest of this packet sown here in the middle of this bed where we don't have much growing. And again, this is full sun and well, Again, nothing to lose, only knowledge to gain. All right, the last official pack has been sown. 
Well, it definitely feels weird to be sowing poppies in late March, but I'm really excited to watch this process and I hope that you will subscribe and plan to tune in for regular updates because this really is meant to be a learning experience for all of us. Um, you know, a lot of times people ask me questions about different zones and, you know, I've been here in the Raleigh, North Carolina zone seven area for 21 years. So it's really hard now for me to be able to uh, give advice to people who live in colder regions, but growing up in Michigan, what we did to grow poppies, we usually sowed them not quite this early, although I think now with your weather, it now would be fine. Um, we usually would do them in early April. Even if there was snow on the ground, we would toss the seeds into snow banks and they would eventually make it to the ground and germinate. The main difference between zone five and zone seven is the length of the summer heat and our night temperatures, which here in North Carolina, we're very, very hot. And I don't want to diminish the fact that it's hot in other places because it is, but we stay hot. We don't get cool at night. And we really have like a nearly eight month frost free uh, climate here. So poppies just don't grow in the summer season. They melt when it gets hot, which is why they have to be grown as a cool season annual. In, in colder climates like zones five and four, poppies are something that you grow in the summertime. So your seeding cycle is going to definitely be different than what we do here in the South. So consider this to be your video um, alerting you that now may be the time to at least be gathering your seeds, thinking about areas where you could direct sow poppies if you live in zones four or five. And for those of you living in the South like me, I'm not really recommending that you do this. I'm just doing this to show the process. Um, I've done this in years past. So I have a pretty good preconceived notion of what's going to happen, but no need to spoil it because every year is different. And so I think it'll be a really fun experience for all of us to watch how these plants grow out. Well, as always, thanks so much for watching everybody and happy gardening.